So from what I understand, like when the gaseous model of the sun was, was built, uh, it was a very limited phase diagram. I believe it was Andrews who did the original uh, phase diagram work that essentially showed like no matter how much you pressurized hydrogen, it was going to stay a gas. Um, but we found these like weird metastable forms of hydrogen now in the liquid region, right? They're being attributed to the depths of some of the gas giants and so forth. Yes, you get liquid metallic hydrogen, as it's called. Um, that can happen at extreme pressures. Which is like really poorly understood. Um, I think there is yeah. some indication that it could be metastable, though, which means that it could potentially exist if formed at a, at a higher pressure and then rise into a, a lower pressure and, and still yeah. remain stable. She, like, look, Shaila's driving at something that's really straightforwardly simple, which is that there is a, there's this assumption at the very heart of physics about the ability of gases to produce black body spectra, which is oftentimes demonstrated as being transparently obviously true by pointing at stars. And so if stars, which are gaseous, produce black body spectra, there's no problem mm. because they're gaseous, they're producing black body spectra. Obviously, like everything's tied up in a neat bow. The question then becomes, what if our models for the composition and structure of stars deserve to be updated in parallel with our understanding of a different phase diagram for the hydrogen that's inside of the stars. 